The largest crane on the eastern seaboard arrived in Baltimore this morning. The Army Corps of Engineers moved the 1,000-ton crane into place. It will be used to dismantle the collapsed Francis Scott Key Bridge so the port can reopen. Heavy lift vessels will also help with that work. Federal dollars are now flowing into Maryland for the Francis Scott Key Bridge. The government is expediting the $60 million payment. For Fox 12, Amy Kiley has more. We've got work to do. Now Maryland is getting $60 million to help with that work to recover from the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. Officials say the federal dollars are for initial efforts like removing debris and laying the groundwork for reconstruction. We're talking three to 4,000 tons of steel that's sitting on top of that ship. Rebuilding will likely cost hundreds of millions of dollars. President Joe Biden vows the federal government will pay it all. $60 million is helpful, but it's really a down payment. Biden can draw funds from the Federal Highway Administration and the recent infrastructure law. In Congress, some hardline Republicans agree the bridge holds national importance. We have a federal interest in ensuring that uh, we've got interstate commerce. But they're still fiscal conservatives. we got to see what the deal is, and obviously I believe in paying for everything as you go. Experts say insurance companies will be on the hook for more than a billion dollars. They predict years of litigation involving maritime law older than the Titanic. One legal expert says businesses that rely on the port can't recover interruption losses from the ship. This is not just about Maryland. This is about the nation's economy. I'm Amy Kiley reporting.